What's up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. I've got a new camera, so bear with me as I figure some settings out. Okay, so the vlog you're about to watch is shot on a new camera and the smoothing feature is over the top, didn't realize it. So I will adjust those settings for future videos, but you're gonna have to bear with it for some of the footage in this video, sorry. But today I've got a couple of different projects that I'm working on. I figured I'd share a little bit of that with you guys. The biggest project is <laughs> this area right here. So this is what I kind of consider my vanity because this is where I stand and, <laughs> and get ready in the mornings when I'm doing my makeup, my hair, etc. And I would say every month and a half, I have to like clean this out and switch out products, things like that. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of makeup focused videos. So makeup is a big part of what I'm always trying out and playing with. So really need to tackle that. Figured it might be fun to bring you guys along. I also have a grocery haul to share with you guys. And a portion of this video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive market. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. By the way, this is the gloss I'm wearing today. It's actually one of my March favorites. It's this Maybelline lifter gloss, but it's like their clear one. It's in the shade 001 pearl and I just have been wearing it so much lately. So I tried some new skincare today. This is from this brand that I think is a new brand. It's called Fleur and B. And you guys know I love my Maylove Glow Maker Serum. It's their vitamin C serum. I've gone through like 10 bottles. I just finished mine up. And so this happened to come in the mail. Literally, I opened it last night and I was like, well, perfect. So it's their Fleur and B Vitamin C Serum. I feel like this packaging is so pretty. So I tried their Rose Water Toner first when I first got out of the shower. I just sprayed it all over my skin and then I went in with this. I will say like I was kind of letting them dry for five minutes. And one of the products, I think it was maybe the vitamin C serum, kind of made my skin feel tight, but it went away once I put a moisturizer on it. So it's just, I don't know, something to keep in mind if that would bother you. But I would say no matter what, if you're putting on a serum, you should probably be putting on a moisturizer after it anyway, and that get rid gets rid of the feel. So we'll definitely report back. Like I said, this is day one of trying these out. So I'm also filming my March favorites and fails video today, which actually I need to get my coffee, get a snack, and get started filming that. So my outfit of the day, very casual <laughs> today. These are these Zella joggers I've talked about before. They're kind of an investment, I think, like they're kind of expensive, but they are the softest fabric, but they're thicker. So if I were to like run errands in them, I don't feel like I'm in pajamas, you know what I mean? Uh, and then this top I bought at Zara a while ago, just like a simple cotton t-shirt type thing. So necklace wise, this is my Kate Spade necklace I love. I got from Nordstrom. This is from Amazon, I can link. Same with the earrings, those are also from Amazon. Also discovered a new nail polish favorite for my toesies. This is the Essie brand and it's in the shade Gilded Goddess. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. But I really love the way it looks. I feel like if you're someone that like for me, I'm pretty fair and I would love to look a little bit tanner. And this is the kind of color that I feel like makes your feet look tanner. Does that make sense? Are there, do you ever like run across colors like that? I'm a big fan. I have a feeling I will be wearing this all spring long because this is like the first color I've seen at the store that I've been like, oh my gosh, I absolutely need to own that and need to try it. So big fan of this shade. I feel like I'm being weird in this video, sorry. I, because I'm on a new camera, my mind is split in half because half of it is thinking about what I'm saying and what we're vlogging about and stuff. And the other half is thinking about the camera and am I doing this right? Did I push the right button? Is it recording? You know, all that stuff. So sorry, if I'm acting weird, it's because I am weird. <laughs> but first things first, I need to go downstairs and reheat my coffee for the umpteenth time today. All right, so just finished that video and I was actually popping down. I wanna share with you guys the groceries we got from Thrive Market and then also I wanted a sparkling water, so killing two birds here. So as I mentioned earlier, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. If you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based marketplace where you can get so many different options of organic foods, non-GMO, gluten-free. If you're on maybe a keto diet, paleo diet, they have so many options on there. And on top of it all, I save so much money when I'm buying my groceries through Thrive Market because they have member-only pricing. So in this order alone, I saved like $50 off of the retail price. So let me share with you guys what I got this time. 
So the first things I grabbed were some of these Birchbender's muffin a la cup. So these are actually keto friendly and they're little blueberry muffins that you make in a cup. I've never tried these before, but my husband and I were both looking at them on Thrive's app, like on our phone, and we were like, oh, those look good. So I'm excited to give those a try for like a quick breakfast. I also grabbed these little peanut butter panda puffs. I figured we would like them, but most importantly, my two-year-old will. Another thing, and actually I might try one of these right now, these Enjoy Life chocolate protein bites. I heard about these from a another YouTuber named Kendra. I'll link her channel below. I think these were the ones she was talking about. So I've been wanting to try them. So the flavor of these is dipped banana. Mmm, that was really good. Enjoy Life, I think is one of those brands that's super, yeah, free from like tons of different allergens. So I think that's pretty cool. These are pretty good. So we also got some chomps. We got the turkey ones. These are meat sticks and they're really clean meat sticks. And the turkey ones, we just both been enjoying a lot lately. Got some Annie's fruit tape for my toddler. She is gonna be so excited about those. These Annie's mac and cheese single serve things are amazing for quick meals for toddlers. And that's, my daughter actually really likes those. Oh, and we also got these breakfast ovals. So it's that same Enjoy Life brand. This is chocolate chip banana and I figure, Again, for a quick breakfast, I feel like these are really cool options. So I'll have to let you know how those are. This is the Go Macro brand, and this is their peanut butter chocolate chip. We got like a box of them. Also got the Annie's White Cheddar Bunny Tail Puffs. My daughter loves these. I love them too. They're freaking delicious. The cauliflower stalks from the ground up. I'm pretty sure I buy these every single time, usually one or two bags, because again, this is a household favorite. They're so crunchy. They're so good. Okay, another one I want to try right now. This is the Pipcorn Heirloom Cheese Balls. Cheddar. I feel like they're supposed to be like, uh, yeah, like little Cheeto ball things, you know? Okay, yeah, it tastes like just like them. They're really good. <laughs> I got a couple of like coffee items. So I got two of the Califia Nitro Latte with oat milk. We love having things like this in the fridge. So in the middle of the afternoon, especially when the weather's like warmer, in the middle of the afternoon when we need a little pick me up, we'll grab something like this and it's Got that caffeine, but it's also like cold and refreshing. Anyway, but this one is the XX Espresso one. And then these are the Nitro Latte with oat milk, but they're the unsweetened black and white ones. This time we got a big daddy bag of their coffee. This is their organic coffee whole bean breakfast blend. We love this. We've been getting the smaller bag, so this time we got the big daddy because we're like, okay, now we know we really like it, so we want a bunch of it. And then a couple of like body care items. I got this Acure Seriously Soothing Cleansing Cream. It's really just a face cleanser. So I'm excited to give that a try. I've been using the same cleansers for a while because I love them, but I always like trying new things. So I'm gonna give that a try. And then we needed some body wash for my daughter. So I got this Laleda two-in-one gentle shampoo and body wash for her. So another thing we love about Thrive Market is my husband and I both have the Thrive Market app on our phone. We'll add to it as we run out of things. And then orders over $49 ship free. So once we kind of hit that threshold is usually when we'll check out. Like I said, on this order alone, we saved like $50. I love that they use carbon neutral shipping and they're shipping from their zero waste warehouse, which I think is so cool. I also love that they have an initiative called Thrive Gives where for every paid member it sponsors a free one for a low-income family. So if you're interested in checking out Thrive Market, they do have two different membership models. They have a monthly one that breaks down to about $9.95 a month and a yearly one, which is the one we went with because it breaks down to $5 a month. And like I said, we save so much money every month. It is well worth it. So to check out Thrive Market, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, and that is gonna get you 25% off your first order, which is a great deal right now and a free gift. So it is a great time to join. I know you guys are gonna love it as much as we do. And thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I don't wanna tell you how many of these little Cheeto things I've eaten. <laughs> and if you're gonna buy one thing, I think it needs to be this, because I cannot keep my hands off of them, the Pipcorn Cheese Balls. Highly recommend. <laughs> All right, so next up, I need to get these groceries put away. And then I actually have a few errands to run before we do my vanity declutter. I need to run some things by the post office, get a few other things checked off my to-do list that honestly I was gonna put off, but I'm like, Jessica, just get it done. You've been putting it off for like days. So I'm gonna make you guys go with me. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go into Meyer, my favorite store. <laughs> uh, Cause there's just like a handful of random things we need. Like we need another laundry basket because every time I do laundry, we have two baskets. I know this sounds like overkill. Okay, so just stay with me here. Every time I do laundry, 
I don't always get to put it away right away. And so what happens is I'll have, I'll have like our daughter's load of clothing that's clean in one basket. Then I'll have like our towels in another, and then I'll finish some of our clothes and I'm like, crap. So then I end up dumping and making a giant pile of clothes, which I don't like. And so I'm like, I think if I just have one more laundry basket, they all are like just the plastic kind, not super expensive, but they can stack within each other when I'm not using them just like on top of the washer or dryer. So anyway, that's my excuse for buying a third plastic laundry laundry basket. But anyway, another thing we wanted to look for is a new grill brush. Exciting times because the weather's getting nicer. So we want to grill out, but our old grill brush was old and a bunch of like the little things on it, the bristles have like fallen off. And we're like, ooh, so it, it's time. So I'm going to pop in. I'm going to try to be in and out in like 15 minutes. I think I can do it. <laughs> This stuff is the bomb. Okay, I did not know CeraVe sold their hydrating sunscreen for the body. I've tried the face one, that's pretty good, but this, uh, I am tempted. They had one left of what I needed, guys. One left. I've never felt so lucky in my life. All right, so we are done here. I need to do a few more errands, run to the post office, stuff like that. So we're gonna knock that out. Um, also, question for you guys. So the store I was in today, we're not allowed to use our own like reusable grocery bags, which I'd been used to for a couple years. So I'm wondering if any of the stores near you are starting to allow them again. I think Trader Joe's, at least the one near us, I think at this point you're allowed to bring your own bags, but some stores you still aren't. So I was just, I'm just kind of curious like where things are at for you guys. Anyway, that's all, that's all. <laughs> All right, it's a different day. <laughs> Honestly, the weather yesterday turned out to be so nice. The weather's really nice today too, that we ended up taking a really long walk in the evening, had dinner and stuff. So now I really do need to tackle my little vanity area. So let me go in there and show you what we're working with again. And also my coffee's in there. <laughs> so pretty messy in here, but I need to basically take all of this out and over to my makeup collection and kind of decide what do I want to be playing with and using this month. I usually have a mix of things I just love that I want to use. And then maybe a third of it is usually newer things or things I want to try again to see how I feel about them. This is where I keep my makeup collection. You usually see it behind me in videos. Uh, so I've got like lip things here, uh, palettes over here. And then in here is like base products, concealers, and like primers. And then this drawer here, I actually recently kind of straightened up. So it looks a little better than it used to. Uh, my blushes, bronzers, highlighters, powders, and then all kinds of like eye and brow stuff. All right, so we've got all of the makeup from the bathroom here. Some of these I can already tell are ones that I'm still trying out or they're ones I like enough that I want to stay in there, but there's definitely a good amount of this that needs to go back into my little collection storage for now. Looking at my eyeshadow, one thing I knew I wanted to continue to use, definitely want to keep this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad. It's the one in Star Aura. It's just really pretty, neutral eye look. I've still really been enjoying this Maybelline Nudes of New York, so I think I'm gonna bring that one as well. I'm also gonna bring my NARS Sheer Glow, but I actually have those out because it was mentioned in my March Favorites video, so I need to do close-ups of those still. So anything in my Favorites video, you're not gonna see today because it's just separate. But, um, I'm really trying to think of what I want. That's like a lighter coverage. I'm thinking about putting the LYS one in there. This foundation was really pretty. So I think that's gonna be one I bring in there. I'm also gonna bring my MAC Fix Plus. Definitely bring in this Tula Face Filter Primer. It's really pretty. It's actually what's on my face today. I think I'm gonna bring this Haley's Beauty Primer over. It just fills the pores on my nose really nicely. I literally just bought this Bare Minerals Concealer in the shade Bisque. And so I'm definitely gonna keep that. It's literally a loose concealer, but I kind of use it with lower coverage concealers to amp up the coverage but also just to set the area it's really pretty all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish picking out what I want to put in there and then I'll show you it all organized into my vanity area bathroom drawer so just to kind of quickly show you what I have in here I've got my base products over here so the wet n wild tinted hydrator the LYS this Ilia skin tint I just saw Dana Ann here on YouTube talking about and I was like I need to try that again because I've only tried it a handful of times and it was not cheap to buy. So I've got that, I've got this Haley's Primer, my Misha BB Cream, my favorite product like of all time for the face. Seen a couple of these. I've got the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer, the Hourglass one. I feel like this Hourglass one is better for like if you need a lot more higher coverage. Whereas the Wet n Wild, it still has decent coverage, 
but it's a little bit more forgiving when you're blending it in. I just feel like it's easier to apply quickly. Also continuing to try out the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I heard Juicy Jazz here on YouTube talk about so much, so I'm like, I need to see what all the hype is about. My L'Oreal powder, I just did a dupe video on this versus the Fenty. If you want to see that, I can link it below. The LYS powder I use for my under eyes. This e.l.f. Cream Shadow in Moon is so pretty. This is one of my favorites. If you can get your hands on this, do it. It's the L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze in the shade As If. It's a loose pigment and it is so beautiful. Let me show you a swatch. Look at how stunning that is. I love tapping this on top of like any eyeshadow look ever. It's my favorite product and I'm never going to run out of it because such a little bit goes a long way. So Highly, highly recommend. All right, so continuing on, I've got a couple lip products here. The Lano Lips Strawberry Ointment. It's so great for the lips and I've really been enjoying it lately. This L'Oreal Lippy and Varnish Rosewood is so pretty. I've got random swatches on here. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Such a comfortable lip product too. And I feel like the packaging is really pretty too. And then the Fenty Cream Lippy in the shade Fenty Glow. This is a newer product to me. It's really, really comfortable to wear. All right, so continuing here, I've got some eyeshadows. I've got the Nudes of New York I showed you. I grabbed my Wet n Wild Nude Awakening palette. I've really been enjoying. I especially love these two shades right there in the middle. And then this one I'm still trying out, the Revlon Tantrum Prismatic palette is really pretty. And then the Charlotte Tilbury quad I showed you. I have a few new brow products from Kosas. I've got their Air Brows and their Brow Pop Pencil. Then I've just got my Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, the Maybelline Strobing Stick. This Milani Supercharged one I tried recently and I was like, ah, I don't know if I like it uh, because it doesn't last a long time, but it's so pretty. I found myself reaching for it all the time anyway. So love that. Got my Milk Bronzer in here I haven't used in a bit. The Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. I'm excited to play with some more. That's really new to me. This Lorac Highlighter in Daylight I haven't used recently. This Laura Mercier Blush, it's in the shade Bellini. Is that not the prettiest like spring peach ever? I've really been enjoying this blush line. It's their blush color infusion line. And then a couple of other things, the brow pencil like I talked about, some eyeliners, uh, Milani lip liner, some mascaras. This is the Elf Lash It Loud, one of my favorites. My Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift, if you saw my drugstore mascara showdown video, uh, that one will be put back in here very soon. It's in my other room. Then I've just got various hair things here, random washcloth to be able to wipe off uh, brushes or my hand, whatever. And then some other tools I sometimes use. And that is that. I had to take my hair down. Does anyone else get like a severe headache if they have their hair up for too long? Cause that's exactly what I was getting to. So anyway, I've got a couple of other chores I always joke that you can't call them chores like if you're an adult and it's just stuff you have to get done but my chores I need to do. I have some laundry right there to put away. I've got some clothes I actually need to sew like things fell off and I'm trying to be better about fixing. If it's an item I just love about actually fixing it. Sew the button back on or you know whatever it is. Then I also have this pile of things I'm getting rid of. So these are all travel size items I'm decluttering. They're ones that I had multiples of that I'm like you know by the time I'd ever get around to using these they would have gone bad or they're ones that I really have just had too long and they've gone bad. So I need to go through this and kind of separate it out and then let my husband, there are a couple things in here he said he might want. Like I have like four different travel size mouthwashes. I'm like, okay, I don't need that. But my husband probably will take that. So things like that. And then these need to go. That'll be good. But I hope you enjoyed today and yesterday's vlog. I love sharing these with you. And you can hear my daughter downstairs. I need to go bring her up here and she can just play while I get some of this stuff done. If you did enjoy, I'd love if you subscribed. I do upload three videos a week. I'd love to have you. And of course, come say hey to me on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. I have a TikTok too. I'm posting a lot of like drugstore makeup videos over there. And of course, if you're interested in checking out Thrive Market, if you go to my link, which is thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, you can get 25% off your first order and a free gift. So definitely check that out if you are interested. Thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.